News is covering schools now. It's a troubling sign of the time. Several Rhode Island school districts are considering eliminating sports and other activities to get back under budget. We wanted to know what, if anything, is being done at the state level to help preserve these popular programs. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler joins us live now with details that are new at five. Well, tonight, rallies and pickets are planned at meetings in West Warwick and Portsmouth, where major budget deficits could put extracurriculars on the chopping block. So we went to the state's education chief to find out what her department can do to fix the growing problem. It's a scene playing out across the state. Students protesting and speaking out to save sports and extracurriculars from being cut at their schools. It actually really pains me to see that. And I know that these are incredibly difficult economic times in our state right now and that our towns and communities are struggling to figure out how to adjust to the budget reductions that they're seeing. Budget battles throughout Rhode Island are forcing town councils to make tough choices. In Warwick, parents and students packed recent meetings to to tell leaders that eliminating extracurriculars isn't the answer. It's a very, very difficult and very real um, exercise for our, our cities and towns and school districts to be going through right now. Education Commissioner Deborah Giss says the state is gathering data on spending so school districts can compare the numbers and look for ways to save money. Her department will also work to help those communities set to lose millions in the newly passed education funding formula to come up with creative ways to save sports and the arts. I'm completely confident that we can help them figure out how to find those savings without having to um, you know, change the quality of the programming that they provide to their students. In Warwick, the city council was able to secure enough funding to save sports and other activities next year. The state aid changes expected from the education funding formula will take place over the next 10 years. I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.